Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly messages from the divine. Capricorn, we are going to be working with some tarot cards and also some oracle cards to get the guidance that is here for you. Capricorn, I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller, deeper reading. Capricorn, if you could also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos for you every single day. So these are the cards that we have. I want to remind you also that these videos are generalized. So use your wisdom and your discernment to really grasp the message that is here for you. If anything is not resonating with you, leave that because that's going to resonate with someone else who is watching this video as I have to put in as much information as I can. So Capricorn, what is going on? Well, <laughs> you are opening up this reading with a major arcana card of the devil. And the devil card is here, Capricorn, to ask you to please release yourself. There's a situation here, Capricorn, that you feel bound to, that you feel you have no way out. But this is false. The divine is saying this is not true. This is all in your mind. Because we're seeing that this situation, we have our person in the cage and they're not looking they are worrying they are stressing and it's all going on inside their mind they haven't even thought hang on a minute let me open my eyes and look around and see if there's a way out because if they did they would notice that the cage was opened and the, the, the devil that is controlling this situation he has his eyes closed so this is all indicating that the worry, the stress, the control here, it's all playing out in your mind. You are feeling small. You are feeling like you are not big enough to conquer this situation. And this is false. The divine is saying, come over, get up, stand up, come over to me. Leave this situation. You don't belong here. Stop disempowering yourself stop imprisoning yourself stop playing small you are bigger than this you are bigger than this obstacle you are bigger than this challenge and the divine is saying besides you have me on your side so why are you in this situation naked feeling humiliated feeling like you're a joke you are not you are divinely supreme you are powerful the divine doesn't understand why you are giving your power away. So this card is all about, about having a negative outlook on a situation. It's about being manipulated by something or someone. But remember, it's playing out in your mind more than it is actually out in the real world. This card is about deception. This card could indicate depression. This is that card that could also be indicating, Capricorn, that you have been drinking too much. You have been e escaping reality through, perhaps, drugs, sex, vices. And this is the time now where you cannot be playing small. And if this is not you, this is someone that you are dealing with that is going through this situation. And, and Capricorn... Perhaps you understanding that this person is bigger than, than this situation that has them feeling imprisoned. You could go and inspire them just as I'm inspiring you. You have now got the job to go and inspire and help someone and rise someone up and free them from this situation because the divine is saying, just as they work through me, they also work through you. So if you know that there's someone who is really feeling disempowered, who is really feeling depressed, who is feeling like I have lost all hope, if you know in your heart and in your soul that you can help, please go and help. Because this person can actually 
get on the road to recovery and healing and moving away from this traumatic experience if only someone took the time out to inspire them, to encourage them, to see the goodness that is within them, the goodness that they can no longer see. And so the divine is saying, if this is not you, then the divine is asking for your help. Will you accept Capricorn? Will you help? So the next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. I love the, age, uh, the energy of the Page of Pentacles because it talks about really taking responsibility and being excited. There is this new freedom. There is this newness around something. So whether you have finally freed yourself away from this major arcana card of the devil, because we're seeing that there is a pentagram here and we're seeing that we have a pentagram there. So have you finally realized that, hang on a minute, yes, the Tarot Diviner is right. I am bigger than this situation. You free yourself and now you are realizing that you had the magic. You had the power all along to control this situation. So we're seeing you now taking this pentagram and using it as a plaything. You're using it as, I can't believe I was stuck in this, I can't say the word now. I can in this relationship, in this situation. And now looking at it that I freed myself, I cannot believe I thought this situation was huge. I mean, look at it now, how small it is. Because now you have taken your power back. Now you have regained your power and now you have control. Or at least you are learning because you're a page. And the page doesn't have all the skills yet. Because the page is like that, that young person type of energy. So a young person doesn't have all the skills that are necessary. But nonetheless, they have the energy of excitement, of enthusiasm, of drive. And so now we can see you, Capricorn, enthusiastic, excited and driven to take control of this situation. And the divine is sprinkling some magic and standing right there with you. So... Enjoy your freedom. And we're seeing that, wow, 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 Capricorn. This is incredible because enjoying your freedom you are. Because the next card, look at you. Look at that. We're seeing you bursting out from the heart. You're excited. You're jumping for joy. You freed yourself. And this could be a financial situation because pentacles are usually dealing with our possessions, they're usually dealing with finances. So the cups deal with our emotions, right? So perhaps you finally realize that, hang on, this situation, my money problems, everything that is going on in my head, this is not going to go any, away anytime soon if I don't take charge and control over this situation. And we see that you freed yourself and you went and took charge and control of the situation. And now because you did so, we see you as the Nine of Cups celebrating. You have your possessions there. You have your security. You have joy. You have just that good feeling of, yes, I did it. Because the Cups are all about our emotions. It's about our feelings so you are feeling really liberated. You are feeling lit up. You are feeling like you can jump for joy and touch the sky. And so this is the energy that is here for you, Capricorn. If you really want to free yourself, take control of the situation and you could see yourself celebrating, jumping for joy and being free. So let's have a look at our, at our oracle cards. And the first oracle card is speaking about that seventh chakra, right? So the energy of the seventh chakra is really lit up. And so what this card is asking you to do is to connect with the divine. Remember, at the beginning of this reading, I told you the divine is stretching out its hand to you and saying, come over, 
get away from this situation. You don't belong here. And we see that the divine could be communicating with you through your subconscious mind, through your dreams, giving you intuitive information and messages about how you can free yourself from this situation. So really start getting into that energy of the, um, of the seventh chakra. Meditate and think about the seventh chakra as you're meditating and you could see yourself getting those intuitive hints. So the next card is, is the door to personal healing and happiness. Isn't this incredible, Capricorn? We have really covered the, um, the uh, tarot cards really well with just one card. And this is you realizing that the door is opened. Okay? The door to your healing, the door to your happiness is opened. But you were choosing to stay in this situation. And finally, when you freed yourself, you freed yourself to that journey of healing and happiness. So I definitely loved the energy of that card. And so for now, Divine and Spirit really wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. So just know that. Because you could be feeling unsafe in this situation. But remember, Divine, that energy is going to be walking with you walking with you if you connect and ask for the help that you need and the divine will be making sure that there's a protection blanket around you and your family so that you can saf safely journey through to that celebration of the nine of cups now we have our other oracle card and this time this card is talking about endings and beginnings and so Kali is saying the old must be released so that you can enter the new. So you must let go of this energy of feeling disempowered. You must let go of this energy of I am not good enough. I am depressed. I have I have no power. I've got I can't do anything. Really start speaking to yourself or listening to meditation that uplifts your soul and uplifts your spirit because when you start lifting up your energy you can start seeing ways out of this situation but when you are closed down and you can't see anything then you're going to stay in this energy because this energy is growing inside your mind, inside your head, you're just going round and round and round in a spiral and not getting anywhere. Now is the time, please, Capricorn, to open your eyes and realize that you can get out. So you have Kali here who is telling you that this behavior must end so that you can walk out into the new beginnings because the page, the pages are all about that new path. So we definitely have newness here and Kali is agreeing that there is a new path for you. Now, we have Genevieve and she is here to talk about true love. And this could be, yeah, meeting someone and falling in love. Or if you're in a relationship, this could be you renewing that energy of love, of passion, of commitment between you and your other half. Or you could just be wanting to have that true love experience with yourself as you are going through this healing journey, as you're going through looking at the trauma and going through the journey to your personal happiness. This is you falling in love with yourself. Because I always say to people, the first person you always date, the first person you always love, once you get to that age is you when you can start speaking gently to yourself about yourself when you learn to start uplifting yourself when you learn to start appreciating yourself when you learn just how beautiful divine and magnificent you are you fall in love with yourself and guess what you will not 
let anyone else come into your space because you now realize what a divine being that you are. And anyone who is stepping up to you better recognize that they are in the presence of a divine sovereign being. So our last card is Freya. And Freya is asking you to be bold, strong. This is what's going to be needed to escape the situation of the devil card. So we're seeing this card saying, unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So there could be risks here that are involved in freeing yourself, in starting a new life, in starting this new path to your own personal happiness. So be strong, be bold and go for it. And remember to call upon the divine so that the divine can protect you, can walk with you and can nature soothe and love you as you are transitioning through to the nine of cups. And so Capricorn, this is the healing that I the healing that I have. Well, I hope I have healed you a little bit. So I'm sending some healing vibes to you. So this is the reading that I have for you. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And on that note, I'm going to see you in my next video. And it's a goodbye from me.